In this video, I'm going to look at the queries for the Smart Art database. Before we actually do the queries, you need to have entered all the data into your database. Otherwise, of course, your queries won't work. So, for example, we need to have entered all the data about the artists, the exhibitions, the galleries and the gallery types. Let's have a look at the actual queries. Two queries. The first one's quite straightforward and the second one's a little bit more complex because it involves some sort of analysis and calculations. So let's have a look at query A. Create a query to display an alphabetical sorted list of commercial galleries, so commercials important, that have exhibitions running for at least five days. So the number of days running has got to be at least five. It must show the gallery name the gallery type and the number of days only. So here we have access open, going on to create and query design. And the first thing is to get the tables into the query that we're going to need. We need the gallery name, that's in TBL gallery. We need the gallery type. Now we've got the gallery type uh, there in that table and we also need the number of days. So that's in TBL exhibition. Just check you've got your uh, relationship lines between the tables in your query, otherwise you won't get the correct results. We need commercials and then that TBL gallery as well. Okay, let's check that the tables are all connected together with the relationship line. And let's put the fields in now. We need gallery name and that's going to be sorted. We need the gallery type. We're looking for the commercial galleries. And we need the number of days. And here we're looking for those that are five or more or greater than at least five. So if we put greater than four, that will find me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's have a look at the results. So here we've got our galleries, they're in alphabetical order, they're all commercial, and there we've got the number of days. Save the query, always use QRY as a prefix. And that completes our first query. have a look at the second query. Let's have a look at what we've got to do. The gallery earns commission for every piece of art sold. The basic commercial commission rate is 40%. The basic combo commission rate is 20%. Create a query that will allow the user to enter parameter value for an artist's surname when run. Calculate the number of exhibitions and the predicted commission smart art will receive. We need to display the artist's surname, the artist's initial, the commission rate and the predicted commission. Let's start putting the fields into the query. We need the artist's surname. We need the artist's initial. The surname, we need to create a parameter for the user to enter the artist's surname when the query is run. And we do that by a square bracket. enter artist surname close square bracket and that will create a window ready for the user to enter the artist surname. We also need a count of the number of exhibitions and I'm going to do that with going to create number of exhibitions and we're going to count the number of exhibition IDs. And if we go on to the total row, you see we haven't got the total row at the minute. If we just come up to the totals button, click on there, we've now got the total row and we can do a count. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got so far. I'm going to use Fuentes because this person has uh, two exhibitions. So Fuentes, number of exhibitions, two. 
The next thing is to work out the commission rate depending on the gallery type. If it's a commercial gallery, number one, then it's 40%. If it's a combo gallery, then it will be 20%. So let's go into build for this. And I'll call this com rate, colon. And then we're going to use the if function. If, open bracket, and if the gallery type ID equals one, comma. What do we want to do if that's true? We want to put 40 for the com rate, comma. If that's not true, then we want 20 for the com rate. Close the bracket. Just recap on that. Com rate, if the gallery type ID is equal to one, then the com rate is 40. If that's not true, then the com rate must be 20. Click on OK. Just widen that out. And again, let's run that and see what we've got. And here we have same artists, obviously, two exhibitions. The com rate is 40 because the gallery ID is a one full for winters. The next thing we're going to do is work out the actual predicted commission rate. So let's go into build. And we'll call this predcom. Colon. And what we want to do is add up the predicted sales times by the commission rate and divide it by 100 because remember we're working out 40%. So thumb, open bracket, predicted sales times by the commission rate and divide it by 100. Close the bracket. And this will be an expression. Let's have a look at the results. So here is our commission rate, 40, and our predicted commission. Now that's just a number at the minute, but that's money. So I'm going to format that to currency. And then the other thing is we don't need to see this number of exhibitions. So I'm going to untick the show on the number of exhibitions. And then for the predicted commission, let's just move this over a minute so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go to the property sheet and format and select currency. Let's run our query just to check it one final time. And then we've got the predicted commission, which is now in a currency format. Make sure you save your query. So that completes the queries now for the Smart Art database. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the report.